hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be seeing one interview experience of cognizant okay for the role of engineer trainee so if you are also going to appear for your cognizant interview this video is going to be helpful for you so that you get to know the types of questions that are getting asked in your interviews so in this video i have not just taken the questions but i also will discuss the answers with you for those questions so that you get to know how you have to answer those questions when you are getting the same questions asked in your interviews now i want to let you know now itself that the engineer trainee role interviews are very easy so you more you might not not get very high level or advanced level technical questions it will be basic the only main aim of your uh, interview should be that you have to be very confident while answering the question and keep a smiling face because you might face that you might not even ask get asked many technical questions majority of your interview will revolve somewhere around hr questions only but you should be prepared so that is why i have taken some of the advanced technical questions also so that you can uh, have a good practice but don't think that uh, if the in, if i have covered too much of advanced uh, interview questions in this video then you will also get the same this is just for your practice so that just in case if your interviewer is very uh, if your interviewer is asking very advanced questions so that you know how to answer them before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you and if you have any doubts you can uh, ask me in the comment section of this video so without wasting any time let's get started with today's questions so first question is like as, as always tell me about yourself or introduce yourself so you can also uh, expect the same question in your interview so how can you answer is hi my name is uh, you have to write your name and i have just added a basic template for you so you can have to just take this template and prepare it according to yourself you can also remove some data or add some uh, data which is according to your or customized data which you feel which is more relevant in your case okay so hi my name is uh, so and so and i am currently working in my final year of btech at this and this college i have always been passionate about technology and problem solving which led me to pursue programming and software development over the years i have worked in various projects that enhanced my skills in programming skills like python sql and javascript i also enjoy learning new tools and technologies to keep myself updated in this rapidly evolving field okay now you know uh, let me make few things very clear because you know some people what they think is we don't have very technically strong in these languages right like python or c or c plus plus okay i understand that being a fresher we do not have complete understanding of all the technologies okay but just understand one thing interview is like very short for a very short duration okay like maximum 30 minutes you can say it never goes beyond 30 minutes and interview themselves interviewer themselves do not have much time that they will ask you out of the box question or very technical oriented questions okay so don't think that you know if i will tell this and this technologies they will ask me very in detailed questions on this okay so no it is not going to happen <coughs> and also if you don't know also uh, don't worry about it okay if whatever you know you can answer otherwise you can just say that uh, at the moment i cannot recall the answer or i cannot uh, uh, think of the answer for this question so just move on keep on moving with the interview don't like you know waste their time also and your time also just try to keep on moving okay next question how was your day today so how can you answer this question my day has been quite productive so far i spent some time reviewing key concepts and preparing for this interview to ensure i present myself well I feeling I'm feeling positive and looking forward to discussing how I can contribute to your to the team and organization basically. So this is these are like you can see uh, these are like very uh, conversational questions. These are not even interview question, okay? Because sometimes interviewers are very frank and they try to make yourself comfortable so that you know uh, uh, like you you are confident, okay? So the first key or first key takeaway. Uh, or the interviews is always be confident if you are confident your 50 percent work is done uh, the rest is you just how you are answering because no one focuses on answers the main focus is on your confidence and your speaking skills moving on to the next question how are you feeling right now so you can answer in this way i am feeling a little nervous which is natural but mostly excited this is an excellent opportunity for me to showcase my skills and learn from this experience i am eager to answer your questions and discuss how i can contribute to the organization through this program okay so this is how you can answer moving on to the next question guys before we discuss this question if you are new to the channel please please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any important updates from the channel also if you have any uh, queries related to uh, wipro procedure you can ask in the comment section and i will guide you through the through it okay the next question is can you tell us about your final year project so the answer that uh, you can say okay now many of uh, the you know candidates or students have this doubt we don't have 
फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट ओके और वी हैव नॉट मेड फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट राइट दिस इज वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट आई गेट ऑल द टाइम ओके इन इंस्टाग्राम डी एम्स एंड इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियोज कॉमेंट सेक्शन दैट वी हैव नॉट मेड अ प्रोजेक्ट गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड यू आर इन योर फाइनल ईयर सो यू शुड हैव इट ओके इफ यू हैव नॉट क्रिएटेड ट्राई टू क्रिएट स्मॉल स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट इफ नॉट इफ दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल ट्राई टू रीड अबाउट समथिंग ओके लाइक ट्राई टू सर्च फॉर अ प्रोजेक्ट विच यू फील इज इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू ओके इफ यू यू कैन सर्च इट इन एनी टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक इफ यू आर like working on react or js there are many clone projects okay like uh, app web apps okay uh, like amazon and dif uh, different web apps you can create uh, okay netflix so on so try to read about it gather some data about it so that you have something to speak okay it does not matter see no one is going to ask you to showcase your project here because that is all knows everyone knows that you know projects are hosted somewhere and it might not be hosted it might be in your local machine so it is not always feasible to showcase your project it's just that they want to understand are you even hard working or are you just passing time in your college life okay so if you don't have any projects try to read some data and gather some data at least so that you are not you don't have any answer okay it should not be like you have no answer for this question at least one paragraph or something you should prepare about some uh, like you know project and then which you can speak if you are also getting the similar kind of question so that was my like uh, suggestion let's see what you can answer in this question my final year project was this and it aimed to solve this problem okay for example we developed a website application or web app using javascript to describe uh, and then mention the functionality okay like for example inventory management data analysis this project helped me to improve my skills in c++ or in javascript or in so so and so technology and taught me valuable lessons about my teamwork problem solving and time management see so i am giving you the answer what to say okay but filling in data should be according to you so that's why i told you just do some research uh, prepare some basic data about what you need to speak which technology you have worked upon so that you will like you know even though you have not made any project they will feel like okay yeah you are fully prepared and you have actually made it okay moving on to the next question which is which language do you know okay so the how can you answer this question is i have experience in python java sql python is my favorite because of its simplicity and versatility with while java helps me build robust application sql is essential for managing querying databases and i enjoy working with it to organize and analyze data okay now it is not important that you should also say the same technologies you can replace this restructure this answer according to the technologies which you know moving on to the next question why did you choose that language okay this is very common because you know first what they ask is your tech stack okay your tech stack they are going to ask okay and once you tell them your tech stack for example if you say java then they will ask why okay because why they ask this question and let me tell you because you know most of the freshers or candidates appearing for interviews try to okay do a bluff okay even though they don't know the language they just say that we know uh, like we know java okay so see they can't ask you all the technical questions because they myself they themselves don't know right uh, that no technology so they ask this question why so you know the candidates get stressed okay he is asking why so uh, now i don't know i now i will record that you know he this guy does not know this language so don't worry uh, whatever the language you are telling just tell some benefits of it or some advantages of it okay so how can you answer in this way I chose Python because it is beginner friendly. It has extensive libraries and is widely used in fields like data science, web development, automation. It allowed me to quickly uh, prototype solutions and expand my understanding of various technologies. Okay, so you can also answer in this way. Moving on to the next question, which is, are you familiar with SQL? Okay, so since see you have already told in one of the previous questions that you know SQL, so that is why you are getting this question. Or the other case can be they. they themselves are asking okay so if you know then you can say yes if don't know then clearly say no i don't have much experience with sql okay so if you know how can you answer yes i am familiar with sql i have used it to create modify and manage databases and i'm i i can write queries for retrieving and analyzing data use joins to combine tables and perform operations like grouping and sorting to generate meaningful insights okay now i am assuming if you have been through uh, courses like bca bta btec okay as far as i know there is a subject okay which is sql in this uh, courses okay so at least you know basics right so you can answer this question if you if a question related to sql is being asked okay moving on to the next question what is a schema a schema is a blueprint or a structure of database that defines how data is organized it includes tables columns and data types relationships and constraints ensuring consistency and proper data management for example in a school database the schema 
would specify tables for students, teachers, classes along with their relationships. Okay, very basic question related to SQL. Next is what is a join? Again, very common and very basic question. A join in an SQL operation used to combine data from two or more tables based on a related column. For example, in a database with orders and customers tables, a join can be used to display orders along with customer details by matching the customer ID columns in both tables. Let's move on to the next question now. How many joins are there in SQL? So SQL has several types of joins including inner function, left function, right function, uh, inner join, left join, right join, full join, cross join, self join. Okay. So, and you know, like guys, I am giving you detailed answers. So it does not matter. It does, you don't think in this way that, you know, I have given these kinds of answers in a detailed way. So you also have to keep on speaking for like one and two minutes for answers. No, you just have to give like one or two sentences or maximum three sentences, like 20 seconds or 25 seconds of answer is more than enough. Okay. So you don't have to speak too much. Okay. If they want you to speak more on a question, they will ask again. Okay. Can you elaborate more or something like that? Next question is rank function in SQL. What is rank function in SQL? So the rank function as assigns a rank to rows with the result set based on a specific order. Rows with the same value receive the same rank and the next in this rank is skipped. For example, if a score, if a scores are ranked and two people tie for rank one, the next rank will assign will be three. Moving on to the next question now, which is can you name some Python built in functions? Okay. So the answer for this question will be Python have several built in functions such as print function for displaying output, length function for finding the length of an object, range function for generating sequence of numbers, type functions for checking data types and sorted function for sorting iterables. These functions make coding in Python efficient and straightforward. Moving on to the next question. Are you willing to relocate? Okay, so these kinds of managerial and uh, HR related questions will also be asked because usually in this interview, there will be only one round. Okay. And not three separate rounds. Okay. Not three separate rounds will happen because uh, only one interview interviewer will be there who will ask you all three kinds of questions. That is your tech plus managerial plus HR. So you can also expect these kinds of managerial or HR related questions also. So what you can answer in this question that is are you willing to relocate so you have to answer always yes obviously so yes i am open to relocation i see it as an opportunity to explore new places adapt to different environments and grow both professionally and personally because you know this question is just to check your uh, like your mindset okay are you even ready to work for a company and are you even flexible to ask like flexible to work in a way in which they are asking so you should always say yes to these kinds of question no one is going to asking you to relocate now itself okay Moving on to the next question, what are your strengths and weaknesses? So let's first see what you can answer for strength. My greatest strength is my ability to learn quickly and adapt to new challenges. I'm also good a team player and have problem sol good problem solving skills. Okay. What you can answer for weaknesses? I sometimes focus too much on my inner details, which can slow me down, but I'm working on improving my prioritization and efficiency. Okay. So see while answering weakness, also you are saying kind of a good point only that, uh, like I am focusing good, uh, like very in the detailed manner on the minor details, but that is slowing me down. So that is why I consider that as weaknesses, but I'm working on improving that thing. So always try to show that whatever your weakness is, you are, try you are trying to overcome it. Okay, next question, some general questions about like about your family. So you can answer in this way. I come from a supportive family of these many numbers and uh, my parents have always encouraged me to pursue my dreams and have been a source of constant motivation in my journey. About your hometown, so that's why I told you, right? They will may try to make you uh, feel confident and comfortable in this kinds of interviews. So you can answer again about your hometown. Like uh, I'm from this and this hometown and a place for uh, this you should tell some good things about your hometown, like some uniqueness or culture, nature or history, anything you can say. It's peaceful city with rich heritage, warm people. And I take pride being from there. Okay. So you should be proud of from where you belong to. Next question is how can you handle stress? Okay. So this is again, many, one of the very common managerial round questions. So you can answer in this way. I manage stress by staying organized and breaking tasks in smaller steps. I also practice mindfulness techniques like deep breathing and ensuring I take short breaks to recharge. For me, maintaining a positive attitude and focusing on solution instead of problem are key for handling stress effectively. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on, your, on our Telegram channel.
make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video